so many reasons not to serve fruit for dessert, the most important one being chocolate. But we've come up with a few reasons that it is a good idea, without it feeling like you've made a half-baked attempt at serving dessert. First, fruit is light. That means you can stuff your guests silly on other courses. And also, since fruit has so much flavor itself, you don't have to do very much to turn it into dessert. And then, of course, pretty much anyone can eat it. You don't have to deprive the vegans or the dairy-free folk or the low-fat dieters at your table. Here are three of our favorite ways to pull together an impressive fruit dessert. Number one, go exotic. Skip past the apples and the oranges, forego the bananas and the pears, and try buying off the beaten track fruit, like star fruit, fresh coconut wedges, mango. Interesting fruit offerings can exempt you from serving any accompaniment at all, or you can keep it simple and put a little lime juice and chili powder like we did here. Tip number two, arrange your dessert in individual portions. If your fruit dessert is simple, a small plating job can make a dish of even just blueberries and yogurt seem kind of fantastic. Uh, these blueberries have a lemony Greek yogurt and some sugar. Totally plain, but you wouldn't know it from the presentation. And number three, macerate. Macerating is basically a reverse osmosis process where you place your fruit in liquor and it absorbs more flavor. You have to do it in advance, which actually makes things easier once your guests are over. So these are basil macerated strawberries. We just pour in a little Grand Marnier, tear in some basil leaves and sprinkle in some sugar, let it sit, stirring occasionally for a few hours. And last, you gotta enjoy your own delicious dessert.